still takes two of you to bring somebody in? I thought with the events at Chronotech, you would have got past that by now. Do you want another bloody nose, Sonai? You want another bloody lip, Rex? In case you have forgotten, your Chrono Watch was broken in our fight, so unless you want a grandfather paradox, served up right on your jaw, I suggest you watch your mouth. Vic, where are you? Forget something? Ugh. Did you clock this man with your chrono watch? The team has told you a million times not to hit people with your tech. I mean, look at this guy. Oatmeal. I didn't even bother cuffing him. McCarthyism. Do you know how much paperwork this is gonna be? What can I say, Vic? He was ahead of his. Time. Where's Moto? She hit the road. But I managed to get some of her tech. Some pretty serious firepower. What was she carrying? Ha! <laughs> That's a Mark 7 time splitter. You're gonna need that. Go ahead. Turn it on. What are you talking about? I see you've been working overtime. Rex Razor. Julie Gem. Long time no see. What are you doing in this timeline? I've been working undercover since your last mission. Thanks for buying me a little time at Angel's Rad Bar. They had no idea I was a cop. Don't mention it. It looks like Moto's been supplying Smite Day to go to war with the new boss. I hear he's a cut above the rest. Calls himself a taker. And the Varen of bad news. Apparently, after Smite Day, the Time Police headquarters were next. Cut to the chase. How much time do we have? I've been trying to figure that out. If I was to take a stab in the dark, weeks, maybe days. Any way you slice it, time cops are history if you think you can take on Ortega. <laughs> you could cut the tension in here with a knife. Take it easy, folks. I'm sure the Chief will have a plan. Well... You're gonna need my help. Let's go. Turn back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got just the thing. It'll be over. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>